Hey everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's Saturday interval, I'm going to be talking about the benefits of nitrox, or diving with nitrox at least. Today's uh, Saturday surface interval is sponsored by the extreme sports magazine Empora, but more about them later. Uh, so scuba divers have kind of a love-hate relationship with the gas oxygen. Uh, we kind of need it to survive, but the deeper down you go, the more toxic it actually gets. But nitrox is probably the most recommended speciality in the entire dive industry and it's usually one of the first ones that I recommend for new divers to sign up for because nitrox just makes your diving safer. While scuba divers have a complicated relationship with oxygen, we also have a very different relationship with nitrogen. We hate nitrogen. It's that pesky gas that means that we can't stay down for too long or come up too fast. So a lot of divers dive with nitrox. So you'll often see nitrox stickers on tanks and banners all around dive centers in yellow and green, uh, but all nitrox is is just normal filtered air with a higher percentage of oxygen in it. That higher percentage of oxygen means that there is a lower percentage of nitrogen in the gas that we're breathing. And this has a few benefits, so let's take a closer look. As I said earlier, the nitrogen in the air that we breathe underwater limits how long you can stay at depth and how quickly you can come up. Because the gas that we breathe underwater dissolves into our body tissues, and because we're at depth, the pressure around us is greater, so we're actually absorbing more gas the deeper down we go. By adding more oxygen into the gas mix that we're breathing, we're diluting that nitrogen down, so we're actually absorbing less of it into our tissues. What that means is that it takes longer at depth to absorb the same amount of nitrogen when you have a high nitrox mix. So that way we can actually stay at depth for longer. It's all about concentration gradients. If you have a lot of something on one side of a room, it wants to get to the other side and equalize much faster than if you only have a little amount of something. So if you have a favorite dive site or something to do at one particular depth, but your computer keeps beeping at you, telling you that you're getting close to your NDL, then nitrox could be your answer. I do say could be because nitrox is a trade-off. We trade depth for time. Because of the higher oxygen content in the gas, we can't go down as deep. Higher nitrox mixes mean that you can literally stay in the water longer. Nitrox means that uh, on dive one, you have a longer NDL or no decompression limit. But it also means that you can have a shorter surface interval, so you can get back into the water sooner. And you can stay down longer on your second dive as well if you're diving on nitrox. That is the major benefit of nitrox. You can literally dive more. You can't dive quite as deep, but you can stay there much longer. Now, it's not bonkers shallow or anything. I mean, something like nitrox 30, which is a pretty traditional mix, you can still dive down to like 36, 37 meters with no problems. There is plenty to see in 30 meters of water and now on nitrox, you can stay there much longer. I say nitrox is a hangover cure, but that's a bit irresponsible to be honest, because you should never dive after consuming alcohol. But a lot of divers find that after diving with normal air, when they get out of the water, they can sometimes feel a bit tired, a bit groggy, but with nitrox and the higher amount of oxygen in their mix, they don't tend to feel as groggy after a dive. Oxygen is often given to patients in hospitals and emergency care because the human body uses oxygen for all sorts of things in the body and higher amounts of it in our bloodstream can actually increase the rate of healing and other things. So if you're breathing a higher amount of oxygen for your entire dive, then you're kind of supercharging your body. Nitrox comes in a range of percentages. Standard air is around 21% oxygen. It varies with altitude and humidity and all sorts of other factors, but it's usually around 20.9% oxygen. Uh, nitrox comes with a couple standard mixes that they try and hit, uh, 30 and 32% oxygen, uh, but for recreational diving, it's kind of anywhere between 21 and 40% oxygen. 
The higher the percentage, the better for the human body. But remember, it means it's the shallower that you can dive. Too much of a good thing can be bad. Air that you can basically, if you're breathing on air, you can dive to around 60 something meters if you've had that training, uh, but you can still breathe uh, sort of normal filtered air down to around 60 meters. But with 100% oxygen, you can only dive that down to about six meters maximum. Out of the water, pure oxygen is fine, but you need to be very careful if you're dealing with pure oxygen uh, sort of under the water. If there's been an incident, uh, sort of scuba diving, in most cases is actually beneficial and most current guidelines are actually to give the victim the highest nitrox mix possible because of that additional oxygen. It's literally, it's better for your body. Today's Saturday Surface Interval is in association with Empora. Empora is an online magazine that is all about inspiring adventure. Whether that adventure involves sliding around on a snowy mountain, pulling yourself up on a rock climbing wall, or riding your bike through the wooded tails, uh, surfing barrels down at the beach, and yes, of course, exploring the underwater world while scuba diving, Empora is a website that has got you covered for everything. Empora features everything from interviews from interesting people, uh, uh, previews of things that are coming up, reviews of dive equipment and all sorts of snowboarding and surfing and all sorts of equipment, uh, news around those areas. It has everything to keep you clued up on the big outdoor issues. Empora has got the lot, so don't forget to check them out after this video. Nitrox is basically a dry course, so you never actually need to get in the water to complete it, which makes the Nitrox course relatively short, and of course you don't need to bring all of your gear with you. A lot of the time there will be an optional Nitrox dive at the end of your course if you and your instructor want to do it, but it's optional. You don't need to do it. So the Nitrox course won't take up very much of your time, it's very quick, and you can kind of do it anywhere really. You can do all of your book reading and studying at home. Uh, let's face it, we all have plenty of time at home right now. And you can then do your Nitrox exam kind of wherever you like, uh, or wherever you can at the moment. Just read local guidelines on where you can and can't go during lockdowns. But Nitrox is one of the more sort of number heavy specialities, to be honest. That's why it's all kind of classroom based, learning about gas mixes and partial pressures. Uh, but once you get your head around the concept, and have a chat with your instructor so they can explain everything so that you uh, sort of, you understand it all. Then you do a little exam and that's about it really. Uh, it is really a quick course and it's a pretty easy course to be honest. It's not that complicated. I know I said it's number heavy, but you're not doing like expanding equations or anything. It's, it's pretty simple. Uh, and Nitrox is actually often done as like an extra sort of add-on uh, at the end or at the beginning of a course because it really doesn't take up that much time but it does have some huge benefits for you and your diving. And to be honest, I think my Nitrox card is probably the only card I've ever been asked to produce other than like a core cert card. People aren't really interested in a, a dry suit or anything uh, but I think the only card I've ever been asked for is my Nitrox card. After you've completed your Nitrox course, you now unlock a new mode on your dive computer. So when you start to dive on Nitrox, you get a better understanding of what's going on inside of your body at depth and how different gas mixes can start to affect your diving. But you need to tell your dive computer this. So your dive computer is a tool and inside of it, it will have all sorts of different settings, but straight out of the box, uh, your dive computer will be set to diving on air. So just 21%. And the the only settings that most non-Nitrox divers will ever kind of change is like the screen brightness. So when you become a Nitrox diver, you'll also understand your dive computer a little bit better as well. You can analyze your gas mix and then enter that information into your dive computer 
changing the gas mixture and the MODs and you're also learning what your MOD actually is, but knowing about the inside of your dive computer is better for you for obvious reasons. And it gives you a bit more control over your diving as well. You now have a better understanding of depth limits and why we have them, why they're at certain points, what's actually happening to your body at depth and which settings on your computer you can start to change to match your dive and actually come back safely. It's all about sort of learning what the oxygen is doing in your body, what the nitrogen is doing in your body and how you can literally play with those numbers to make your diving better and safer. So I love nitrox for recreational diving. The main downside is the additional cost. Uh, obviously nitrox is gonna cost a little bit more than standard air, but in a lot of cases, you can get nitrox included in the price of your liverboard or your dive trip. So if you're not gonna be using nitrox, then you're not really gonna be getting your money's worth, to be honest. But let me know down in the comments below what you think of nitrox. I mean, years ago when it first emerged in the dive community, a lot of divers called it the devil's gas. Um, but are there still any out there that dislike nitrox? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to check out Empora. There'll be a link down in the description below. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving.